Okay guys, this is a tutorial on Roblox Account Manager. I'm going to be calling it RAM for the rest of this video. First, we're going to download it. Go to the Account Manager guide down here and uh, download it at the GitHub. Download it right here under Assets, Roblox Account Manager 341. Once you have done that, what we are going to do is open it up and we're going to add our accounts. So the first thing we're going to do is click on Utilities on the right hand side and we're going to go into the Watcher tab. Once we're here, we're going to enable the Roblox Watcher and these three settings down here. Okay, so when that is done, I will explain how this works, is that when you use a script to close Roblox, it will close the game, but immediately after, open the Roblox Beta app. What Watcher does is that if it detects the Roblox Beta app, it will kill the entire process. So you will not wake up to 25, 40 Roblox Beta apps in your uh, taskbar and you will not kill or fry your computer. Okay, so the second thing we're going to do is going to account control. Once we're in here, we're going to drag the accounts we are going to auto farm with. I have two of them and we're going to go into settings. In the settings tab, we're going to want to change these. So if you have a good computer, you can probably leave this at 30. If you have a really bad computer that loads late into a Roblox game, you're going to want to leave this at 60. If you want to be on the safe side, just set things a little higher than the base settings. So uh, again, if you have a uh, pretty bad loading times, set this to 60 and I'll probably set this to around 15 or 20 to be on the safe side. It, 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 the lower this goes, the more risk you are to constantly keep relaunching the game when you don't need to. Okay. So with that said, we're now going to enable auto close. What this allows us to do is that if a Roblox application gets stuck, like if you lose connection, connection ID 17, or your game bugs out in some way, this will allow the application to kill itself after 16 minutes. All right. You want to change this to the strats you are using. I'm using some really fast strategies that are around 11 minutes, 12 minutes. So give or take three minutes maximum lobby time and then add around 12 minutes for the strat. Um, this works out for me to be 16. If you're using a strategy, um, you basically just want to set this at a time that allows your strat to complete without auto closing it. And yeah, to be on the safe side, set it to 20, 25. It does not matter. The safer it is, the better. 16 has worked for me for my strategies. Okay. So now, oh, what is my computer doing? Whoa. That is weird. I cannot control that. All right. Well, now what we're going to do... <laughs> is go into the help section and nexus.lua. We're going to download nexus.lua. We're going to cut it and we're going to go into our auto execute folder and paste it. We have auto close in here as well. This will close the game. Like I said earlier, this will not close Roblox. So it will close the game and then open the Roblox beta app, which is where Roblox Watcher comes into play and shuts down the application. So it do you don't end up with as many as you want. Um, wait 11 right here. You can change this to one. I have it set at 11 because I'm using a webhook to keep track uh, and make sure everything's working correctly. If you do not use a webhook, you can set this to one and it will work a lot faster actually. But the webhook, you need to let some time pass after the game closes or um, completes. And yeah. Okay. So now what we're going to do is go back to control panel and we need to get our strategies. Um, our first thing we're going to do is if you're using one account or two accounts that use the same strategy, all you need to do is just drag the strategy into auto execute in your um, executor. And that is it. You are done with this. This only applies to people that are using two accounts with different strategies. This will not work. So you remove that and we're going to grab the strategies individually. So I have a shotgun multi strat right here which I am going to now go to my alt account that I'm using and paste it in the auto execute tab, not executor, auto execute. Now I'm going to go grab the other strategy I'm using for the other account and do the same thing. Click on his name and then go to the auto execute and paste. 
Now, with that said, we need to get the private server. You can go into the Discord and go to chat and type private server like this guy has, and it will give it to you. Or you can go into the pinned comments and grab it right there. All right, we're gonna paste, we're gonna highlight both accounts and we're gonna paste it in the job ID. Now we're going to get the Roblox Tower Defense Simulator um, ID, place ID, and we're gonna paste it right there. Now you are all set. You can highlight both accounts again and just click auto relaunch. And now it's going to start working uh, instantly. You'll see here in a few seconds that um, our accounts are launching. Now, um, the red dot in the Roblox account uh, section that I've been talking about this whole time, if it lights up green when these games connect, that means it is working. If your account is still red and you are in a game, that means either one, your executor does not support this, or two, you have missed something and you need to go back and rewatch this video. Um, I have both accounts in the uh, lobby now. I am not going to <laughs> click on my other account so I don't leak anything major. Um, but as you can see here, we are finding a map and we are going to join it and start auto farming. And the only thing I need to talk to you guys about is, again, how this works. Uh, this is mainly for uh, if you want to use a private server. Once the game triumphs or loses, as soon as you get brung up the end uh, game, what is it, uh, HUD or whatever, uh, victory, loser screen, that auto-close script I told you guys to put in there will close Roblox. But since Roblox added the Roblox beta app, it only closes the game. It will then open up the Roblox beta app. So then the Roblox watcher thing I told you guys to enable comes into play and it will detect the Roblox beta app in your processes and it will kill the application. Auto close. This is mainly a feature so we don't get stuck with a lot of Roblox apps by uh, accident. So if you lose connection to a game, it will wait 16 minutes and after those or whatever time you set it to and after that time it will then kill the application entirely uh, just in case uh, you somehow lose connection and uh, you don't want to have that application for the entire night you are auto farming obviously so it will kill the application that is basically everything you guys need to know uh, and uh, I wish you guys the best and happy auto farming